All right, I got a new pot that I've made here, and I wanted to show everybody and get their opinion of it. And I'm just going to give it a test run here. Actually, I'm going to cut the lights down a little bit so I can see what's lit and what's not. Sometimes the lights are too high, I can't see. So, yeah, we're lit. Um, this is uh, JPH The Man 1's stove. Um, I think he calls it Little Inferno. He's made some modifications to it. I haven't made those to mine. I had mine before the modifications, but I kind of like it this way so that I can use it in multiple slow burn and fast burn. And it does take off quite fast once it gets going, and if you have too much fuel out here, it can take off a little faster than you want it to, so you have to be cautious and stay back a little bit. But it calms down once that goes, and you get a nice steady flame here. Um, what I'm really more interested in today is this new pot that I've made. I've got a little uh, aluminum lid on it that I made out of the same stuff that I made my windscreen out of in a previous video. I'm going to need to make a new windscreen for this because this literally is the same size as that pot. And I think if I put it on here, it would actually uh, smother all the air. Uh, also, I had a person tell me that these holes should be up higher above the flame. I think is what I was told, so that the air doesn't blow the fire out. It actually feeds the oxygen to the flame. And then the flame doesn't get so hot and I'll burn my wood. So, I'm sorry, I'm blocking all that over here. I just want to see how this pot handles and uh, if I can use it as a pot. My real question is, is the way I made this pot, let me grab something and I'll show you. You watch the video, I'll be right back. This is not the exact same, but it's similar. And this is why I'm asking everybody's opinion. So what I did was I took a paint sprayer can, which is hard aluminum, and I cut it down to the size of what I thought would be a nice sized pot. Actually, I cut it just below the rim of the pot. Uh, this is actually not the exact same one, but I cut it just below that rim there. This one has a rough edge on the bottom. That one didn't. This one also has a beveled bottom. That one is a flat bottom. So I went with the flat bottom one because I was really looking for a flat bottom stove. I mean, flat bottom pot that wasn't really, really big. Um, I have a lot of pots, but I'm just looking for something a little smaller to put in my pack. These are awful big to be carrying in a backpack. Uh, something that's a little more sturdy than, say, the standard Heineken pot. Um, which is not a bad pot size-wise. It's a little, you know, it carries the same amount of water about it. This gets to just over two cups of water. Really, it's not very good for boiling much more than two cups. And right now, two cups of water is getting me to right about, I think, right about there, height-wise. So I've got a room for about two and a half cups in here. I could fit three cups in here, but if I bring it to a boil, I'm afraid it would just boil all over the edges. So what I did was I... This this had uh, not been used for paint ever. Uh, we had a couple of them laying around the house, um, and I don't use them for spraying any paint anymore. In fact, the paint sprayer died a long time ago, and that one had a different top than this one had, so it never worked with the paint sprayer anyway, and we never used it. But, just to get on the safe side, I wasn't sure what these are made out of. I know they're aluminum, um, so what I did was I polished it up all the way on the outside and on the inside with um, sandpaper and then steel wooled it down real close to it, ran it on a uh, spinning on a drill, and then I just finally smoothed it out the whole way. Um, so I don't know if it's safe to drink out of. That's my big concern because it is just open aluminum. There's no uh, inner liner like you'd find on a can, there's an inner liner, which eventually does wear off, but you have to watch these, because the inner liner does wear off, and I don't know what that means to the can once it wears off, uh, if it's still usable or not. So, that's my question. Does anybody know anything about these cans, these aluminum paint spray cans? Uh, are they usable for drinking out of? Uh, after I boil the water, does it make it safe? Is there anything I need to worry about? Anyways, I'm going to 
not really use it for drinking out of yet until I check into it a little more. I just want to make sure it's safe to use. But it's pretty lightweight because it is aluminum. There's not a lot of weight to it. And the size-wise, actually, it's perfect for this stove. I was carrying that stove in a uh, plastic container that was sent with the stove. But as you can see, it is a plastic container. And, you know, they only last so long. This one's got a little break in the side here. So I need to replace it anyway. I was looking into this for replacing it. Much sturdier. But um, I didn't know. I'm looking for something that I can be sure it's not going to crack. And I know that's not going to crack. It's solid aluminum. It won't flex at all. I mean, this one's been dropped on the ground. And you can see that it only has one little dent in it. Uh, I actually drilled some holes in the side of it for testing a bit. But it is never going to give. Uh, even with the top cut off like that, it's still a very sturdy cup slash bowl, whatever. So, and, and it's it's a good three cups full. Uh, so I could do two cups of water and still put some food in there. I don't know that I could get a whole one of these packets inside there with the water. So for eating something like this, I'd still have to eat out of a bag. Um, but I need to get some plans together. I'm not sure what I'm taking on this hiking trip that I'm going on shortly here. But I just want to get some opinions on this pot. See if anybody thinks it's uh, safe enough to drink out of. It looks to be safe, and I would think the water boiled would be safe. There was no uh, paint or any thinners or anything inside of it ever. Uh, it was brand new, but I was still nervous about drinking out of it. So what did I do? I polished it all up with some sandpaper and steel wool, like I mentioned. But now if I actually opened it up to catching grime and stuff, I don't know. So I also am looking to find some kind of way to, I keep taking my lid off and I'm trying to get to boil, but I'm also trying to find some way to put a handle on this little lid. It's lightweight. I might. I, want, I really want something heavier. Um, I have a lid here from Tenny. It is a Mini Bull Designs, but it is just a little too large for this. Uh, you know, the flames can come around the side and start to get on the outside here. It really doesn't hold it in tight. It's a little bigger. Uh, that is actually a one egg wonder lid. So, and my other lids that I have are too small for it. So I really need to find the perfect lid for it. Um, not sure where I can find one. I have some good dimensions. <coughs> I have a little uh, crock pot, uh, mini crock pot here that I got at the uh, uh, thrift store. And wouldn't you note, this lid is actually perfect size. Not that it's the best lid. I mean, it is the perfect size for that. Um, obviously, I don't want to carry this big lid. It also doesn't have that inner ring in the right spot. You can see it would slide back and forth. And that's actually how I made this aluminum lid. I just pressed it on that until I got that shape. But this needs to be needs to be widened out to where it doesn't have that big ring because it can slide sideways either way. So a little bit of wind and that's going to jump off there. A little weight on there will just hold it in place. Um, actually, the base, or the top of this stove, which I won't show you now, is underneath of it. It's just sitting underneath of it. That top fits perfectly inside this ring. So in a windstorm, I could obviously set it on there and we have enough weight because that's a pretty heavy piece of metal there to hold it in place. Uh, this is not an ultralight setup. It's just a small setup and that's kind of why I like it. So the other thing I'm looking for is this whole system here will fit down inside of this perfectly. I mean it's actually down in a little ways. Um, doesn't leave room for a lot of fuel bottle. It, it's just too small for a fuel bottle to go inside there. So that's not going to fit inside there. Uh, unless I can find a smaller fuel bottle, but I'm trying to find some way, and I, I need to put something else in there to keep it from jiggling around, uh, maybe just a uh, cloth of some kind, but I also want to find a lid that I can get on here, and even if I have to uh, put a band around it, some kind of uh, elastic band or something around it to hold it on while it's in the pack, that's fine. Uh, I don't know if there's any way I can get a lid that's going to be permanently affixed to it, that it's going to lock in place. That's not really what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something to hold it. Mainly I'm asking the question of, is this safe aluminum? Does anybody know? 
So let me know what you think. Uh, comments, please. And I'm going to let this come to a boil, which looks like it may be there very soon. Yeah, it's there right now. I can hear it. Yep, we got a full boil there. So it boiled nice and fast. I don't know what the time was. I wasn't timing it really. Uh, we're at 10 minutes on the clock here, but I don't know when I started it. So anyways, that's my question. Let me know what you think. I'll show you a top view of it really quick. Not much light. That's what I've got for you. Had to really fine sand these down up here because it was really sharp aluminum when I first cut it. So, All right. Thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing your comments about it. Here's a shot real quick. I told you that. Top of the stove fit right in there. It's a little bit on the warm side still because it's still running. But that just kind of fits right in there and gives a little bit of weight to it to keep it from jumping around. So, ooh, some steam rolling out of there though.